our next speaker almost made it. He took two hours and 50 minutes to arrive this morning. Nothing to MRT. He flew all the way from Thailand, more than 1,600 kilometers away to speak today. He is the CEO of Brandy and Corporation, a brand centralization company, which basically is a brand consulting firm. He also passes on his knowledge about brand centralization through a successful Facebook page called Brandis, followed by more than 100,000 fans under the idea of being a brand builder. Because he believes that when people understand their own uh, roles and duties or their brand, society will then be collaborated and yet sustainable. May we invite Mr. Pia Chart to be on stage, please. All right, thank you so much for um, introductions of me. And nice to see you guys again. This is my maybe third time here. Thanks, Roger, for inviting me and MIS, of course. We got an exciting issue in the morning. I will tell you some. Uh, it's, it's really about digitalization, okay? But now we, we are waiting for changing something a little bit, you know. I'm personally um, loving Singapore, of course, you know, because flying to Singapore is shorter than, you know, taking my car from my home to the office in Bangkok. It's absolutely brilliant, you know, two hours, and mine is taking like four hours, you know. Traffic jam in Bangkok is everything I wouldn't recommend to you, but foods are great, things are great. So as a um, you know, consultant to the Thailand Tourism Authority, I'm inviting you to Thailand as well. Okay, in, in reverse. Okay, please join us in Bangkok. They got a lot of issues today. Got many things today. Okay, well, today. Okay, I think um, I have heard so many speakers talking about digitalization. Um, it is not the future, it is today. Okay, like you're taking the picture, like you're taking everything. You know, um, right now, I'm, I'm not sure whether Nikon or Canon still be here with our digitalization, but you know, this is true right now. So the way we engage is quite different. I mean, in terms of knowledge, in terms of practice, is totally changing. And somebody who got a digital native mind will overcome these obstacles, but some will struggle in the way how to utilize the digital effectively. So let introduce myself more again, just in case I think not many people know me in person. Okay, so I'm working with branded corporations. We believe in brand centralization. We not believe in building only brand image or even, you know, design a logo. We believe in terms of brand-centric transformation. Every single thing in your company should be driven by the brand where the value associated. So people in your team should engage to the brand to know what they, they try to achieve by the purpose, not the money they get paid. You know, things to deliver to the customers, not only to satisfy them, but having some good impact to the community surrounding to them. So that is me and my company working on that. And the second, as they told you before, I have a page, Facebook, everybody got a Facebook, of course, um, called Brandist. Brandist is a term, you know, means brand builder, clearly. Um, I think today, we, we're talking about marketing, absolutely, but building a brand is somewhat believing in your potential, believing in individual. So everybody here has a brand. I know the next topic we'll mention about personal branding. I wouldn't go in details, but you guys are brand. So when it becomes a brand, you know exactly what you do. You know your responsibility. You know that you need to release your potential to finish things, not only from the task, but to achieve the purpose. So if every single unit in the society understand this knowledge, we will have a happy society happy family, and even happy world, of course. No need to ask for sustainability, because you will care on what you're going to do and impacts you're going to have, and then you, know, you will change your behavior. And the last one that might be the things that brought me here is I wrote the book called Branding for Point O, and this book has been published in English, Thai, in Vietnamese, 
and um, going to be in Korea very soon. I'm going to, to have a speech on Korea tomorrow. Very busy week. All right, um, this is all about me. So this is all about me and Roger. And our beloved Professor Philip Cutler, and you know, please Nicholas, he's a um, um, beautiful girl that way. Uh, well, we met up in the Japan last year, and we, we got a very strong connection. I'm now extending the business to Singapore in Asian coverage, and to grow with these people, and thanks for you know, helping us. You know, the world become better to the good marketing and good branding. This is what we do. And this is the case in the morning, you see? Half everybody knows about Maslow. You know about Maslow? Okay, do you know about the last one? In the bottom line, it's called battery. <laughs> you know, it's redefined Maslow. It is true. In my book, I'm talking about the cell actualization, but indeed, this one is damn right. Because I came here without the power adapter. So this morning was so busy with the Apple C port, you know. Apple make us confusing in life, you know. They got a little one port, but they need multiple ports to access, you know. Um, this is quite true. With our power, you know, I'm sacrificing myself, you know. I haven't eaten anything in the morning, you know. So, so food and safety is, you know, above this. So battery is everything right now. With our battery, your life will be, you know, struggle. So, just in case, prepare your mobile phone, prepare your adapter, so that it wouldn't bother your life. You can go to your self-actualization with the battery. Okay? That's history in the morning, and thank you for the MIS staff. They are so helpful there. You were kind to me and the team. So this is, in fact, this is an evidence that really tells you that we are already in the digital edge. And in the digital edge, you are surrounded by this. I call this uh, digital mobile devices, including okay, your mobile phone, your wristband, um, what your, your headphone, your Bluetooth um, equipment, so many lots of things. You know, in prediction from the WEF, 2020, you're gonna have these kinds of digital equipments for person more than seven equipments. Right now, how many how many people have more than two? Two, two, okay, okay. See, so somebody, somebody wasn't raising your hand, but you're taking a photo with two mobile phones, okay? Um, well, it's clear, it's, it's a fact. So this um, is a tool that changed the way we engage because it's really helping you to easily connect to each other. With this tool, this tent is, is meaningless. You can connect to the people in the U.S. You can connect to the people in Thailand. It seems like I, I am in Pattaya. You know Pattaya? I can talk to my families. I can talk to my friends. You know, I wasn't feel like I'm in a Singapore. Because this, you know, helping us to reduce the gap. Helping us to have more connected. And this is true. The digital mobile devices will have an economic impact, you know, as the highest disrupting technology. And you can see that the desire to connect to the internet anywhere is the strongest drive in terms of technology. You know, the economic impact is the highest. The other technology will be down, as you can see. This is right now happening, okay? And the way the brand engaged to the customers before is quite different. If you want to reach a million people, you may create the advertising, you know, pay the money for ad times, and then you get to, you know, to reach a million people. A 100,000 people may be using the newspapers. Easy, okay? You just publish some ads. Okay, less than that, you might um, having a spot on the radio. You know, we have different way. But the way to engage in that time 10 years ago is costly and only strong brand, you know, a brand with a high investment can do this. A resource to access to the huge network is limited. Not many brands can do. But right now what you see with the digital mobile devices and the social media, things have changed. 
you see what have been you know the new things we call this a new normal you know what because we still be able to connect with others but the way to connect is sometimes you know if for free to reach one million people is for free and it could be done over the night so just like the case that the previous speaker told you you can be the star over the night and it's easier and it's never been happening before like this. So right now from limited opportunity become an opportunity for everyone. You all here will be able to do this you know, without any investment. So this is true at the present. The digitalization change the way we connect. But the way we connect by using the high technology Will have a high touch or not? This is still the question. I mean, on the left hand side, you'll be able to connect. On the right hand side, will they engaging with you? This could be tell the story. Because of what? Because today, we are not compete for the money. Money is one thing, but right now we compete for the time. The application in your mobile phones, everything that so you download, the way you engage on the internet, every single brand try to have more time from you. If they can have you more time, they can ensure that you will pay the money for them sooner or later. Just want to engage. So why engagement is that important? Because time is much more valuable than money. That's true, but you know, time is like eating. We wouldn't pay attention on the time until we don't have time. That's true. All right, we compete for the time, but competing for the time wasn't that easy. You know, like um, you know, four billion people access to the internet, but they clearly state that the internet is not the world that they allow brands to easily or always communicating with them. You know, see their stats. I wouldn't go you know, figure by figure, but you can see that they got the stat that show you that they try to preventing the brands or advertising to get involvement in their life. And if you look on the right hand side here, it's about the brand perception level index, changing from, you know, stranger to become your brand advocate, to become a brand ambassador. You would see that there is something confusing here. Okay? People spend you know much time on social media, two hours a day. But when they want to engage with the brand, they not go to the brand page. They talk with their friends about your brand. Okay, see? When they want to associate with their, your brand, the first thing is not look at the product and service you provide, but look at the shared values that you have in common with them. You can, you can call that relevancy, as the previous speaker said. And then when you make consideration, okay, they, they're happy, they're happy with your brands, okay, if they have a share value with your brand, and they want to make a consideration whenever they want the product and service, they will go to the brand that have a connecting there with stories or content or something they have known before, okay. To, to be honest, saying that they're going to have a connection with the brand that they're familiar, not the stranger. And when it comes to decision, this is, you know, humiliating because they touch and they, they, they believe in somebody. They have no idea who they are before. They look at the online reviews. They look at the stat on the internet. They believe in that way. But you know what? One person who loves your product and service will tell nine persons to buy your product and service as well. Okay, sometimes it might not be easy, you know, it might be difficult because only 25% actually doing that way. But at the end, you know what, you, you can listen about the brand from your friends, not because of the brand. Why this could happening right now? You see, we have a strong connectivity. Brand will be able to access to customer life 24 hours. But why? It is so damn hard. Because the digital world is not the world that built it up for the brand and customer. It's the world between customers and consumers. They're talking to each other. 
They just don't have this world because they want brand to access their life, but they have this world to talk to each other. So the relation has been shifted, you know, because of the, role, the, the roles of the brand shifted. The relation has been shifted as well. This is the conclusion based on my book, Branding for Point O, and you see the free point that people look at the experience rather than product and service. You see the role shift. If you are in the company, the company have to look at yourself as a brand and think about yourself as a brand. And you see from customers, they're not just customer anymore because of the technology foundation, because of the opportunity that's open for everyone. They start to doing something to, you know, to earn the money. They become a little entrepreneur. They start selling something online. They start doing some kinds of business that would be, you know, concurrently with the, you know, employment, concurrently with other jobs. But they do, you know, from stakeholders. Ten years ago, we we're talking about shareholders. We we're talking about people who give you money and you need to, you know, giving them back in dividends. But right now, you look at the stakeholders. They all matter to your company because they are influencer. If you did wrong to them, they will just publish to the internet and see what will be your feedback. And you know, preventive is much better than let the situation happen and you take responsibility. The customers, of course, right now, you want customers, but you just don't want only customers. You want that customer. To be your brand advocate, to talk something about your brand because their voices are much more effective compared to the voice from the brand. You see the the um, you know consumer generated content from the previous uh, you know practice is quite obvious to say that this is true. And employees, right now, you know, employees become brand ambassador, become somebody. Who talking about your brand? Who engage others with your brand? Who really defend the brand when it comes to the troubles? When it comes to the hard situations? That is quite true. And role shift lead to the relationship that, rather than looking yourself as a seller, and people, a customer as a buyer, you need to be a friends with them. We will go more in details about this. A competitor. Is that true? Do we still have a competition? Well, there is a competition out there, absolutely. If you're talking only one dimension about profitability, but indeed, the world is in need of collaboration. Because if you look at the same industry and you look beyond the same industry, you see the higher purpose and you see what you are in the same industry. Sometimes, here we have digital agency might be as a competitor, of course, when it comes to clients and service. But for the whole digital industry, you need to educate more people to understand what is exactly a digitalization. If people more educated, they easily adopt what you say, and you know, at the end, become your your clients. And the social values. We're talking about CSR ten years ago. We're talking about if you are profitable this year, and you have that small amount of money. Doing something for CSR, donation, you know, doing something that that will return in a good brand image. But today, the social values wasn't enough. You have to look into your business a core competencies and execute the share values from the beginning. It means you should have the ability to run your business concurrently with doing something good for the society as well. Because it lasts long, and it will eventually become a sustainability, both for your company and society. Um, customer focus to inclusiveness. That I talk about that about before. You know, rather spending the money just to you know to acquire the customers, you have to think about the whole stakeholders. You have to think about the people in the community. You have to see their good life. You have to see whatever it takes because the. You know, digitalization help them to have more information, help them to be more engaged. Once they be more engaged, they will ask for more. Sometimes it's easy because they ask from your brand. Sometimes it's not easy because they ask publicly, and that will hurt you at the end. 
So far, so good. This is 4.0 summary. And to show you that the high technology or digitalization somehow doesn't automatically allow you to have high touch. If you want to engage people more, if you want to have them with you as your brand community, what you need to understand, you need to understand these two touch. The first touch is touch their eyes. The second touch is touch their mind. Touch their eyes clearly. You know you have 24 hours to access to customer lifestyle, consumer lifestyle. But think about this. You know, how many people in here having more than 1,000 friends in Facebook? More than 1,000 friends. Okay, 500 friends. Okay, well, well. I guess um, I should say that you don't have to raise your hands and then get the answer. <laughs> All right, so, so I assume that everybody play on Facebook and got so many friends on Facebook. You see that if you go to new feeds, you would rather see the new feeds from everybody list as your friends because we are now bombarded by the contents every day. So only relevant contents will be allowed to show up on your feeds. And this is true, you know, you got the chance and opportunity to access 24 hours, but it's not easily to really engage. If you want to engage the, the lifestyle, you need to become a friend of customers. And that is eight keys to become the friend of customer. I wouldn't go into detail, but these things are quite common, but just get it all together. You need to have the consultability. You know, sometimes people doesn't come to you to buy the product and service. They want the knowledge. They want to know what is the best product or what is the most you know, suitable product and service for them. They're not going to spend that time, but they will have a good feeling with you. When they want it, really, they just come back to you. No selling. It's consultability. There needs a consistency. You know, building a brand is not a short-term investment. And building a brand is not advertising. You need to be you know, consistent in every single dimension on your purpose. You need to have a strong purpose, unless you be just only the business. You need to embed the purpose into people. And you have to create the process according to that purpose and people. And you need to have a platform and product that deliver the values and monetize the values from that purpose. And then you need to have a project along the way to keep the brand you know, alive in consumer lifestyle. And you have what? You need to have a comfortability, ability to talk to your customers and doesn't pleasure them, doesn't make them feel like, okay, I need to buy something. Just let them you know, be comfortable with you and they will come to, to your page, will come to your brand all the time. Adaptability, relevancy, of course, everybody talking about this. Transparency, what I want to mention. A transparency is the key you know, to create the brand storytelling. What is a brand storytelling? Um, well, back to the cats again. If you're talking about how to sell the product and service, it's just easily just have a good product and service. But right now, people ask you, people ask you how you produce this product. Ethically or not? What is the source of your materials? Have, have you do the trade good way with farmers? Have you do the trade good way with other suppliers? You know, and what is your concern? Does your process create some you know, negative impact to environment? They, they don't take it when they're going to buy your product, but they will absorb it about your story all the time. And when they have a strong, good feeling enough to you, there will be a brand, not a product. So they're purchasing, uh, you, they're purchasing your brand, not because of product. You know, just like that. Okay, that is how you can have the high touch to their eyes and for their eyes. It's somewhat different because if you want them to be with you long enough, you know, you want to do CRM, you want customer loyalty, which somebody claimed that there is no royalty in this world right now. But I still thinking that is, but it wasn't that easy compared to the previous and the past you need to execute the shared values and unique values. For the business, I guess all here are business person or business representative. 
building a brand and marketing is quite different because marketing is the tools that help you, you know, to sell more products and service and help you to achieve the, you know, corporate profitability. But building a brand is somewhat you create another purpose of your company. When it comes to business, people say, well, you're standing for profit. But I want to show the public or to show the world that I'm standing for some other purpose with not only profit, but something more meaningful. I call this a shared values. And only shared value wasn't enough. You need a unique values to monetize that value and become you know, a business achievement. And you could understand this model clearly when it comes to startups and you know, digital entrepreneur business. They're creating the value first. They're talking about how their business can, can do a betterment for society, for people, how they resolve the existing problems smartly and you know, in more effective ways. And then if people agree with that values, they start to think about business model, how to monetize those values, how to make the money from those values. And this is true in the sense of examples today, and it will become more intense tomorrow and next tomorrow. And this is how I suggest that in digitalization, engaging people is not automatically obtained. You need to understand how to touch their eyes and how to touch their minds. And finally, the goal is clearly. If you look at the mass law hierarchy, you would see that everybody try to seek for the self actualization and what you no matter what self actualization is, they want a good life. Everybody want a good life. And to have a good life, you need to understand that not all technology is a matter to your brand. You need to be selective. Choose the right one, which technology would be fully adapt to your brand and use the technology to touch with customers. And if this combine perfectly, you will have high trust from the consumer back to you and all in combination will create a good life in the end. So that is what my speed today and I hope um, things will be go a little bit faster because I think we're running out of time. Um, just to give you, okay, um, well, we have a three state of building a business. First, you want to be different. You know, building a business, you want to be different so that you could, you know, catch the eyes. After that, you want to be competitive. You know, you need the ability to be competitive in the market. But, you know, sooner or later, you're talking about sustainability. You want your business to be last long. And if you want your business to be last long, what you need to care first is not your business. You need to create the last long ecosystem. And that ecosystem, because of your effort, will help you become a sustainable brand and business. Thank you for helping me today. Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs>